Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the annual Rosies. Hang tight with us. We're recognizing some incredible achievements and there may be a musical guest somewhere in there. This year, it looks a little different as we're not in the gym, but we're gonna focus on the positives. And just think, you're in your cozy homes, probably in your PJs, and won't freeze from the air conditioner kicking on in the gym. Even in these uncertain times, this has been an amazing year in the Assumption community. We are so lucky to be in the presence of such talented students. It's obvious just by all of the names you will find throughout this presentation. In case you had forgotten, and for our 200-ish newbies out there, our maroon buttons with the quill and scroll designate students who are being recognized for academic excellence and membership in academic honor societies. Our white buttons with trophies represent those who have succeeded in academic competitions. Our pink buttons with a rose represent the students in fine and performing arts. And finally, those wearing blue buttons with the mercy cross are for those being recognized for leadership or service in various groups or organizations. Technically, someone could earn all four buttons. That's what we call a quadruple Catherine Macaulay. It happens about once every 50 years. A quadruple Catherine Macaulay is as rare as finding toilet paper at Kroger after 9 a.m. In other words, quadruple Catherine Macaulays are exceedingly rare. You may be thinking, where are my buttons? Don't worry, they're coming in the mail next week, so keep your eyes open for them. For those of you who've attended the Rosies in the past, you may remember our visual presentation that guided us along with our presenters. This year, all of our students being recognized can be found in an online flipbook located at ahsrockets.org slash celebration of achievement. Mrs. Schumann will give you more information at the end of our Rosies about how you can get easy access to it. Now, our junior model of mercy, Shayla Long, will bless our annual Rosies. Dear Lord, Thank you for a year where our great efforts and strides have been worthwhile. Please, Lord, watch over us in the weeks of rest ahead. Help us return to school with a new spirit and a new energy. We pray for the class of 2020, that they find success in their futures and accept this great change in their lives. We pray for the class of 2021, to be good models of assumption as they step up as the leaders of the school. We ask you, Lord, that the class of 2022 embrace new opportunities in their junior year and for the class of 2023, that they grow in compassion as individuals and as a group during their sophomore year. And lastly, we pray for the class of 2024, who are not with us today, that they may come to embrace the community of Assumption. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Shayla. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce Mrs. Stacy Johnson. As Mrs. Hall mentioned, the maroon buttons represent academic excellence and membership in academic honor societies. Some of these achievements and honor societies include the principals list, 40 book club participants, national honor society, foreign language honor societies, and many more. Make sure to check out the flip book and congratulate your friends found under this category. They have worked diligently to achieve such great things, and we are very proud of their accomplishments. Before we move on to the next category, I want to congratulate some very dedicated students. The following students are recognized as distinguished scholars, meaning their cumulative academic performance lands them in the top 5% of their class. Congratulations and brava to the following juniors. Ella Bidwell, Amelia Casson, Josie Chitwood, Aliana Conway, Sarah Cook, Caroline Nett, Jacqueline Wynn, Megan Northup, Olivia Passon, Emma Pitko, and Julia Renz. And congratulations and brava to the following sophomores. Sydney Badon, Mallory Bowling, Anna Chung, Kaylin Douglas, Carly Fawcett, Rachel Hamilton, Sydney Hendrick, Ellie Knoop, Alice Palmer, Emily Payne, 
Cameron Payne, and Emily Speaker. Way to go, ladies, and congratulations. I would now like to introduce Mrs. Pam Conway. Hello, everyone. We sure do miss you. Now, it is my pleasure to showcase our students who have participated in academic competitions. You will find these students sporting their white buttons when they return to school in August. In this category, we would like to recognize our Governor's Cup competitors and winners, our Future Business Leaders of America, the Future Problem Solving Team, the Student Y Club, the Speech and Debate Team, Math League, and many other participants and competitors. Please make sure to review the students in these categories and take time to congratulate your friends. They've worked incredibly hard to qualify and compete in these competitions. And this year, we have some incredible wins to recognize. First, big congratulations goes to the Varsity Quick Recall Team, who won first place at District. Also to the Future Problem Solving Team, who also won first place at District and at Regionals. Next, congratulations to our robotics team who had an awesome first year of competition and received the judges award at the first meet. Also congratulations to our speech team who recently competed online at state and won fifth in team sweepstakes at regionals. Finally, congratulations to our math league who came in first place at district. Well done ladies, we are so proud of you. Before we head to our next category, turn up the volume as we have a special guest performer for you. Let's welcome our two-time Rosie Performance of the Year winner, Mr. Jared Ramirez. Hey Assumption, Mr. Ramirez here. Just wanna remind you how much your teachers love you, we miss you, and we're super excited to see you hopefully soon. I see you with me, 
can you say as long as I'm here no one can hurt you I don't want to lie here but you can learn to if I could change the way that you see yourself you wouldn't wonder why If I knew it all then, would I do it again? Would I do it again? If they knew what they said would go straight to my head, what would they say instead? If I knew it all then, would I do it again? Would I do it again? If they knew what they said would go straight to my head, what will they say instead? How did we get so lucky to have such talented faculty and staff here at Assumption? Thank you, Mr. Ramirez, for leading us right into our fine and performing arts category, which is represented by the pink buttons. Students in this category can be found spending hours in our art rooms, the theater, and showcasing their talents throughout the city and beyond. I think it's appropriate to give a shout out to our fabulous A Midsummer Night's Dream cast and crew. You truly dealt with adversity with such beauty and grace. The Fine and Performing Arts category showcases our students who participate in our choirs, Rose Theatre Company, Bloom, The Rose Window Literary Arts Magazine, and many others. Again, make sure to check out the students found under this category and congratulate your classmates. We would like to specifically congratulate the following student for being selected as one of the 265 Kentuckians accepted to the Governor's School for the Arts. Congratulations, Junior Sarah Sheffer, for being selected to GSA in Drama, and congratulations to sophomores Haley Magnuson and Maggie Spath for being selected as alternates. Additionally, we would like to congratulate Katie Foley, who earned second place in this year's Kentucky Derby Poetry Contest. Way to go, ladies. I would now like to introduce our service learning director, Mrs. Caitlin Moore. Our final awards category, that's right ladies, we're close to the end of our program, is that of service and leadership, two areas that are very important to us at Assumption and very closely tied to our ministry and heritage. Catherine McCauley was determined to help young women develop their talents and she devoted her life to both leading and serving that cause. You will find students in this category sporting a blue button. In this category, you will find so many opportunities that many of our students took advantage of, such as Operation Smile, Varsity Club, Advancement Council, Recruitment Team, Family Council, Class Officers, Homeroom Moms, the list goes on and on. These are the students who help make Assumption the special place that we know and love. Also under this category, we would like to recognize some specific students who were accepted into some incredible programs. Congratulations to the following students who were accepted into the Governor's Scholars Program. Jacqueline Wynn, Julia Renz, Riley Stull, Madeline Will, Amelia Casson, Josie Chitwood, Julia Connolly, Aliana Conway. And congratulations to the following students who were accepted into the Commonwealth Honors Academy. Claire Bergen, Whitney Dreyer, and Amelia Rausch. Congratulations to Hadley O'Coon and Raylan Willman, who will be participating in an online version of the Hugh Leadership Program. And congratulations to Gracie West and Ellie Worth, who are accepted to attend the Operation Smile International Leadership Conference. We know we have many leaders here at Assumption, but also have many servant leaders. It wouldn't be a true Assumption Award celebration if we didn't mention those students who have completed the most service hours this school year. A big way to go to the following students for their outstanding number of service hours. Junior Chelsea Mattingly, who served 228 and a half hours. Sophomore Kylie Hurt, who served 165 and a half hours. And freshman Emma Nevitt, who served 59 hours. We are all so proud of you. Lastly, we want to recognize our family who took home first place in this year's family competition with the upset. Congratulations to Lamar. Our students are simply amazing and the Assumption community could not be more proud. Congratulations to all our students recognized today. 
I am now going to turn it over to our lovely assistant principal and dean of studies, Mrs. Teresa Schumann. Ladies, when we say we are so proud of you for your accomplishments this year, you better believe that we mean it. I do want to let you know that all of our students who have achieved a Rosie's Worthy accomplishment this year, whether you were mentioned today or not, have had your information compiled and listed in our Rosie's program flipbook that Ms. Hall mentioned at the beginning of our assembly today. The link to the Rosie's program flipbook will be sent to both you and to your parents. Your link will come via email and your parents will arrive in today's rocket report. And we hope that you will take a look at it together, flip through it together, and revel in your accomplishments. Seriously, do take some time to find your name, and while you're looking for your name, look for the names of your friends as well. When you do, we know you might take the time to send your friends a well-deserved text or email to tell them congratulations for their work during the 2019-2020 school year. Now, I hope you'll join me in welcoming your principal, Mrs. Tedesco, and your president, Mrs. Lang. Congratulations to all our award recipients. And to those who did not receive awards, you still have time to accomplish great things. Dream big, work hard, set goals, and work to attain them. Now, as we look toward next year, we hope that you'll think about joining that club you've always wanted to join and taking classes that you know will stretch and challenge you. You have hundreds of people who believe in you and who are supporting you. You have parents and friends who are invested in you and your success. Seize the opportunities that are available to you and make choices that challenge you and help you grow. Do it for your parents who believe in you, for your teachers who enjoy watching you grow and learn, but most of all, do it for you so that you can be proud of your accomplishments and your time at Assumption. Thank you for joining us today. And students remember, we love you, we miss you, hand over heart. Have a great weekend, Assumption.